Hey guys, my name is Melita. I'm the editor of Decorating Made Easy, and I want to welcome you to the Starveyors Clubhouse. Now, this is the location for Bible study here at Galactic Starveyors, and it is a really cool environment. Think about it as if uh, you were a child and you were going back and salvaging your dad's tools and finding some lumber uh, and going out to the woods and building your own clubhouse. This is exactly the kind of environment that we want to create. This is something that kids have made and bring their friends together so that from this point, they can look out at the stars and study them and see all of the amazing things that God has created for us to enjoy. So what we've done is built everything pretty much out of insulation board uh, that we found at our local hardware store. You can get it in two inches or an inch and a half or an inch thickness or we've used a lot of half inch and we've used a lot of two inch. Now some places don't have uh, a need like in particularly hot regions of our country don't need the two inch insulation that's fine you can use double wall cardboard you can use plywood you can use anything that you have at your disposal to recreate this particular set now one of the quick tips that I'd like to share with you is you see how we've kind of made a hodgepodge we've got different angles on our wood some of them go vertically some of the wood grains are diagonal because again we want to simulate the look of kids just cobbling it all together and using whatever they have at their disposal. So one thing you can do is to find contact paper or shelf liner that has a wood grain already printed on it. Then you can stretch big sections, uh, some this way and some this way and some at an angle and cobble together the same kind of wood wall right uh, for your focal area in your Bible study. That's a really easy thing to do. Now we've used our visual pack posters. You probably also have packs in your uh, leader packs. You've got posters in your teaching materials that you can use to enhance this setting as well. And one thing that we also did was create this great beam that stretches all the way across uh, what would be the ceiling in our Bible study room. You can create this out of two inch foam or again out of cardboard and, uh, and make a little corrugated roof so that you have a feeling of that roof opening up and this giant telescope that peers up through the ceiling of your Bible study room and right stares right into the heavens. Now the art for this is available to you on the DVD-ROM that's in the Decorating Made Easy book. Also these cute little raccoons and uh, most of uh, the outline for how you can put this together is all available in the theme art folder that's on the Decorating Made Easy DVD-ROM. Now one other thing I did want to show you is right here these wood crates that look like they're heavy and look like they're real apple crates are really just cardboard boxes that we've painted to look like wood and then we've taken half inch foam board and, and uh, glued it directly onto these boxes to look again like wood grain and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. There's several different techniques. Of course you can simply paint it uh, but that's just not nearly as much fun as burning something, right? So I'll show you a little bit on, here on this scrap piece of foam. Now I've got a wood burner here. You can find this at any craft store or hobby shop. And it has a couple of little different attachments on it. This particular attachment, it looks like an X-Acto blade. And this is a fantastic thing to use when you are doing some really fine cutting or precision cuts. This works a lot better than a jigsaw. It works a lot better than a hot knife. It goes right on the, the wood burner. And as soon as it gets hot, it just cuts through just like butter. So this one has a little bit of kind of a, uh, it looks a bit like a screwdriver head on it and I'll show you exactly what you can do. In fact, we use this technique even on this table. You can hold it on the side and burn in by kind of laying it on top. You get a different depths. You can burn in uh, a rough edge to the wood. In fact, you can even come down and, and, and score it a little bit or make it like a little triangle and extend it down. Uh, we actually use this technique even on the walls behind us to come in and cut out uh, the planks that separated each of the the pieces of wood. So you see, you can get in some different depths, uh, maybe stagger it a little bit, kind of poke at it, gives you a nice kind of natural wood technique. And then to come in and do some wood burning, let's say we want a couple little knot holes. I'm just gonna kind of make a, a few little half circles here and start building it out a little bit. Maybe one like this. You really can't mess this technique up, which is what I love. So there's a little knot hole. I'll show you another technique. You kind of come in at an angle, use the flat edge of that uh, screwdriver attachment. That is what it looks like at least. Kind of lay it in and just drag it through. It's okay to stagger it a little bit, but you'll see you'll get some great wood grain there. Come in and paint down in with a really fine paintbrush, paint it in the darkest color that you plan on using and then you can roll right on top of that with your base coat. Then you take a dry brush and simply brush in some lighter 
of that base color and some darker of that base color and you've got natural highlights built in just like you would on real wood. So that's a great easy technique. You can do all kinds of things with it and in fact you'll see that technique used all over the decorations for Galactic Starveyors. For great ideas about how you can decorate your room and all of the spaces in your church, be sure to check out the Decorating Made Easy book and check out this DVD-ROM that's included in that book. You'll get to see lots of great clip art, theme art, and wonderful tools that will help you bring Galactic Starveyors to life in your church.